You keep hearing, Wisconsin's super gerrymandered. But what actually changed between the maps we had before 2011 and the maps we have now? Well, before 2011, Wisconsin was a purple state that had razor-thin statewide elections, but about 55 or 56 of the 99 assembly seats leaned Republican. But since 2011, we're still very much a purple state that has razor-thin statewide elections, but now 62 or 63 districts are more Republican than the state as a whole. So. Something happened to increase Republicans' 13-seat advantage to a 25-seat advantage. And when I say something, I mean drastic surgery to specific districts that could rival an episode of Extreme Makeover. Like Senate District 8. Before, it was divided roughly 50-50 between the north suburbs of Milwaukee County and parts of Ozaki, Washington, and Waukesha counties. After, oh, look at all that red, leaving just a quarter of the district in Milwaukee County instead of half. How about Assembly Districts 13 and 15? Before, compact districts that were fairly balanced in their partisan makeup. After, oh, they just stretched them out into Waukesha County. Once again, leaving just a little bit of blue. Let's do one more. Let's look at the state's most purple counties, Racine and Kenosha. Before, Senate Districts 21 and 22 were split by the natural county boundaries, and both were considered swing districts. After, the cities of Kenosha and Racine became one district, and then the rest of the two counties became one district, ensuring that neither of these seats would ever have a competitive race. So if 2011 was an extreme makeover, let's hope this time around we can fix those extremes. Like an episode of Botched.